It's Ewan McIntosh here in Newcastle and Gateshead. Over the past few weeks, I've been joined on Get Ideas by many of those who have, in the last five years, pioneered the so-called Unconference, professional development events produced for teachers by teachers, at little or no cost, with no keynote speakers or expensive hotel rentals. The longest running of these Unconference events Teach Meet celebrated its fifth birthday in May. I caught up with three people for whom it has opened up opportunities to learn, and for one teacher at least, we hear how this simple idea kept him in the teaching profession. I've been teaching now for three years. Um, I think what's why it's been so hard to come to a conference is by the time you actually leave the school, getting cover in as well, the financial cost. I don't think some schools are always willing to let teachers go out during the day. Oh, the teach me, well, they tend to happen after school hours, on the evenings. There's no time restriction if you think about the school life. It's taking a bit of time out of your own personal life and from the sounds of it, you can get an awful lot out of it. Uh, my name is Alistair Douglas. I teach at Academy 360 in Sunderland. Teach meets have changed my teaching career around I was going to leave teaching but I attended my first Teach Meet. I was so inspired by some of the ideas and things that saw there. I then took them back into my school and used them, uh, shared them with colleagues, and it actually took away the, the fear of trying new ideas. Don't be afraid, try new things, and if new things don't work, try other new things. Um, also, using the social networks, I think has been a, a really good aspect for me, sharing ideas, because I, I don't think teachers and schools in general share enough ideas between each other. I think that's a major point for teach meets is just sharing things together. Um, well, school leaders have to create these events because if they want teachers to be inspired by other teachers, they have to allow the, the forum to do it, and they can use it. That you can use that in their own schools. But also, the CPD is produced by the teachers for other teachers, and they don't have to employ people to come in and deliver it for those teachers. Um, and I think it's a great way of saving money and inspiring teachers. Teachers inspiring teachers is the main message, I think. My name's Simon Finch and I work for Northern Grid for Learning which is uh, a collection of school boards of local authorities uh, supporting the schools, the learning environments and uh, the learners and, and also extending through to the uh, organisations that also work with children. So that can be foster, that can be charities, that can be police as well. I think what is uh, noticeable about TeachMates is because they are self-organized and they're in the teachers hands that means that there is an enthusiasm there and that's the part that I've noticed as somebody who has, has worked at an advisory level at a school board level at local authority level for 20 years one of the questions that I have to ask myself is, is where am I getting my ideas from and how do I know what it is that teachers need and it is by attending teach meets that you see teachers uh, supporting each other, enthusing about their work, despite all of the other trials that they may have within the, the, their days and within the, their, their organisations, they're able to say this is the nub of the work that's, that I think is important and then they share that uh, equally uh, amongst themselves willingly and it's that enthusiasm and that excitement that I think perhaps can get lost in the day-to-day the day -day teaching within a, a busy school.